Hey guys, Grievo Tools uh, doing a cool tool gadget review. So uh, this is an interesting tool gadget here. Um, this is a DeWalt DCF682. Um, got this. Um, it was actually, if you see it stamped, it was, I think the guy who I bought it from bought one of those like pallets of DeWalt tools because he had a whole bunch of them and uh, he was a appliance salesman, had a whole bunch of them in the corner. Um, so I got it for fairly cheap. Um, the kit came with a box. I can't remember if I got a bag with this or not. Only one battery and a charger. But uh, these are 8 volt lithium ion. Um, I haven't even looked. 8.0 watt hour. So whatever that uh, equates to be in a amp hour. Um, but this is a gyroscopic screwdriver. So the way that this works is you've got just one button. There is a lock for the button, uh, but just one button. And you can hear it's not doing anything yet. It wants to. But as soon as you turn your wrist, if you turn it to the right, it's going to tighten. If you turn it to the left, it's going to loosen. The farther you turn, the faster it turns. So um, I just thought it was kind of neat. So I grabbed it. And actually, it's been a handy little tool. Uh, refinished a whole cabinet so it had all these hinges and door stops and drawer pulls and all this stuff on it and this little guy just pulled them all out and i've actually been pretty happy with it uh it does have a little led on light on the front um the batteries even for this tiny little eight volt battery i haven't had a pro problem with the projects i've used it on where it goes dead um before i'm done with the project so Having one battery hasn't hindered me, but I don't use it a whole lot either. I got a million drills and drivers and stuff like that. But yeah, it's kind of neat. Um, the nice thing about this guy, it's actually got a decent amount of power. So uh, I was showing uh, in the other video the uh, Weeha Speedy, where instead of being gyroscopic, you turn that little collar. Collar, I couldn't think of that word in the other video. Turn that little collar um, to make it spin. Uh, and this thing is woefully underpowered. So I was just demonstrating, because that's kind of marketed at uh, electricians, how it worked on a brand new plastic rough-in box and an outlet. And they that's about as far as it got. Um, I'm going to do another video here with uh, just driving some screws for comparison. But um, this guy, on the other hand... The only problem I'm going to have is not stripping out uh, these tips just because. There we go. Uh, it's a little hard to just hold the pressure and do what I need uh, just in my hands like this. But clearly, there's plenty of power. The only uh, binding you heard was because uh, when I was when I was pushing, if I turn my wrist back a little bit it let off the pressure it does have plenty of power to put those screws in there and uh, i would guess it's probably got plenty of power to break a faceplate too we'll try it for the <laughs> yes i know that my colors do not match i just grabbed uh, some of the spare parts i had in the garage here yeah maybe not quite nope I'm sure it would break some of the cheaper ones, but actually seemed to work on that. So um, the nice thing about this one is, or sorry, the one downside on this one uh, is it will tighten, but you can't, oh, there it catches. It doesn't really want to work by itself, but the sh like without the power. So if you need a little extra turn, sometimes you can get it to do it. Sometimes you can't. Um, the clutch will let go or the spread clutch, whatever in there. But it's not a handle that's very conducive to doing that anyway, because the button's right there, you're gonna push on it. Um, if you need more power than this guy, you probably just need an actual drill. So, oh, let's see, battery indicator on the top. Um, like I said, I've had pretty good luck with the battery life on it. They still sell these uh, on Amazon, 59 bucks. Not too bad i think that's still a single battery kit but kind of a fun tool to have around and show off to people uh dewalt says 430 rpms up to 24 inch pounds so that would only be two foot pounds 
I kind of think that's a little on the low side. I don't have a good accurate way in those lower ranges to test it. But uh, I'm going to do a testing video running some screws into this block of wood just to show you it's actually not too bad. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I'll link the testing video between the three that I'm doing tonight, uh, two gyroscopic and then that speedy in there. Uh, and, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Sorry I'm not better at YouTube.